Breaking news right now. Let's take you live to Nashville where a news conference is underway uh, connected to that school shooting. Firing multiple shots. We now know that there are three students who were fatally wounded as well as three adults inside the school. We are working to identify those victims, including the shooter. A total of seven persons were killed as a result of this morning's incident at the school. By 1027, the shooter was deceased. The officers had engaged the shooter by 1027, and she was deceased. Again, I said the first call came in at 1013 this morning. We'll have more details to give you later in the morning. Chief Drake will be here in a bit. Now Kendra Loney from Nashville Fire. Fire department crews are dispatched for active shooter incidents as well um, for medical support, but also for an RTF response, which is a rescue task force response to go in alongside of uh, MNPD response. Um, our crews were right there on the scene to provide medical aid to any survivors, um, but also be there uh, for victims so that we could try life-saving efforts um, in this case. So we went in as soon as it was safe for our responders to do so to try to provide life-saving efforts for those that were impacted uh, by this incident and this tragedy. Um, our crews were able to be on scene to pull out those that had viable signs of life, um, those that were still showing uh, the option for to be saved. Um, and we did make transport of three uh, individuals and three children and then um, two adults that were taken from the scene. Um, our crews then set up a reunification unit. That reunification unit is at 2100 Woodmont Boulevard. That's where parents can go uh, to be reunited with their children. Uh, all of the remaining students were able to be escorted out of the building with faculty and staff. Um, we're not sure about the processes that they had in place, but we were on scene to help them mitigate anyone from seeing exactly uh, what else was going on, but we're sure that they heard the chaos that was surrounding this. Um, so we do have mental health specialists and professionals that are at that reunification site for both the students and the families that are going to be affected by this today. Uh, our OEM uh, units were able to provide buses to make transport from the Covenant School to the reunification site. We had one bus that carried 74 students and faculty staff members to the unification reunification site and an additional bus that had 34 students on them. So all of those persons were carried. Um, it was difficult for us to kind of identify who was just there as part of staff for the church versus who was there for uh, the school because it's all housed in one building. Um, but at this time, we were able to get that number of persons transported out of the building um, and into that reunification site. So that is where parents can go to be reunited with their students. There is a hotline being set up for parents to call, um, but right now that is where they should go, 2100 Woodmont Boulevard, which is Woodmont Baptist Church. Um, additionally, we do have a debriefing site set up for on staff or personnel who are working this incident, um, and there are mental health professionals set up there for them as well. Um, there was one police officer that was injured with a a hand injury um, as a result of making uh, an attack on this uh, incident. But other than that, that have been no additional um, injuries to first responders or personnel responding to this. And as uh, Don mentioned earlier, we will have further updates coming uh, later on in the afternoon. So on a typical day, there would be about 209 students inside the school and approximately 40 to 50 staff members, about 42 staff members. I'll take just a couple of questions uh, before Don, we go back. Clear. So the seven dead, and then nature of injuries, how many injured do you know? That maybe are being treated still or injuries? I know the first responders were. But. An officer had uh, a wound from cut glass. That is the only other injury that I'm aware of. The injuries of the students are they critical or to another condition? The three students are deceased. The three students who were shot are deceased. 
Three staff members who were shot are deceased. Uh, that's a total of six victims. And then you have the shooter who was engaged by two of our police officers, part of a five-member team, and she is deceased for a total of seven individuals. There are no other gunshot victims, non-lethal, that I'm aware of at present. Do you know how many people were shot? Do you know how many people were shot before the police engaged the shooter? No. Did you know if they shot anyone after they engaged the shooter? Do you know if the shooter was able to shoot anyone else? Does the shooter have any connection to the school that we know of? We do not know who she is at this juncture. We're trying to identify her. Uh, she does appear to be in her teens. Uh, again, with two assault type rifles and at least one pistol. Do we know where the lives are previous, uh, like recent incidents that the police have come to the school or the church? No, I'm not. Was there an SRO or an SSO working at the school? No, this is a church uh, that operates a private school. Uh, there was no Metro Police personnel assigned to that building at any time. John, do you know if either of the two adults that were shot maybe confronted the gun? You said two? Yeah, the, the adults that were no, shot. No, there are a total of three adults. Three adults. Three yeah. adults who have been fatally wounded. Okay, one of them being the shooter? No. No, okay, so three total. So let me, let me go over this again. Okay. You have a total of six victims, three students who are deceased, and three adult staff members from the school who are deceased. The shooter herself makes seven. Do you know if one of the three adults maybe confronted her? I do not. Three the three teachers there? there is video from the school that we are viewing now to try to learn exactly how all of this happened. Can you say where the victims were located? Were they in the hallway, in the classroom? I cannot at this juncture. As you know, uh, five of the six were transported. So we will get that information later in the day. Did police engage with the shooter inside a classroom or in the hallway? Do we know the location? Uh, it is an upper level part of the school. It's kind of a lobby type area. It was not in uh, a classroom per se. All right, we'll be back shortly with more detail. We'll uh, tweet out, uh, give you a 15 minute or so notice before the next one, okay? Thanks. All right, we've been listening to officials from Nashville Fire and Police talking about this fatal shooting at a uh, Christian school, private school there in Nashville. There are three student victims, three adult victims. All of the adult victims were staffers at the school. Uh, one of the revelations we learned there from that news conference is that the shooter in this situation is a female described as a teen female although they do not know the shooter's identity at that point, but that shooter responsible for killing three students and three staff members at this school before getting engaged by the police there, the police actually taking out the shooter. No other people were shot uh, at the school. Also, they say they recovered two assault-style weapons from the shooter and one handgun. Uh, all this taking place again at the Covenant School in Nashville, Tennessee. Of course, details are still coming in, but that was Don Aaron from Nashville Fire sort of laying out, you know, some of the facts as we know it. But this situation, the tragedy started around 1013. He said by 1027, that shooter was deceased. So very quick thinking by a five member team there in Nashville who went into this school where there's about 200 students, 42 staff. Again, it is a preschool through sixth grade school. Parents are now being able to be reunited with their children after learning about a, a devastating uh, fatal shooting. Again, a female teenager is the suspect who is deceased. We continue to watch all these breaking developments in Nashville. We'll take a quick break and be right back.